Okay, we're going to do a quick little um, SVG of a, I think it's like a school mascot or something. It's a request for, from someone on Facebook. I copied the image from the internet, and I'm going to say Control V to paste it. So there it is. Now what we want with this is we're going to want a solid gold background. Then we're going to want a layer of black and then a layer of white to go on top. And this is how I did it. There's different ways, but this is one way to do it. I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and change it to Colors. We only need three colors. I've got it on Smooth, Stack Scans, Remove Background, Update. Okay, that looks good. We'll say OK. All right, it did it. So there's our copy right there, and this is our original. We're going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so now we can close the Trace Bitmap window. Now, you'll notice if you look down here, this is a group of two objects. To do anything with it, we have to ungroup it. Um, Control Shift G, or you can go Object Ungroup. All right, now we can drag these two apart, and we see we have a gold layer and a black layer. This would be okay, be kind of hard if you were going to put it on something white and you didn't need the white layer. You could do this. Um, it has a lot of really thin uh, cuts for the black but we can make it so that you can have a layer of white also. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make this into a solid background. To do that, we're going to go to Path, Break Apart. That breaks it down into all its component shapes. If we were to do Path Combine, it would put it back together, but that's not what we want to do. So let's break it apart again and go to Path, Union. Now it's all one piece. If you look at the nodes, it's one solid background piece back to the selector tool. All right, now we have a gold layer. We need a white layer. To do that, we're going to use the paint bucket to fill in all of the parts that should be white, and then we're going to group those together into one object. So pick your paint bucket, select white as your fill color, and then just paint in all of these areas and his eye. Okay, go back to the selector tool. Now if you right click on one of these wide areas and then go down to select same fill color, it selects all of the things that are filled white. We can join all those together now. Go path union. Now we have our white layer. I'm going to change it to a light gray so that I can see it. So now we could stop here. It might be kind of hard to line this up when you're, if you cut it out of vinyl, it'll be hard to line up this white part exactly in those little black outlines. So what we can do, drag the white off. We're going to do the same thing with this layer that we did with the gold layer. Go to Path, Break Apart, and then Path, Union, to make that one solid black piece. And you can see our white piece. We don't have to be as careful with layering. And that should be it. If you were to save this and import it into Design Space, it should um, work fine and, and your layers should come up. You'd be able to cut it.